Hello, beautiful cosmic souls. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Gabby, and I'm just a girl. I'm just another ray of light that incarnated here to volunteer to come to Earth to witness this beautiful ascension that's taking place and to help find and guide and trigger my soul fam to wake up so that we could begin our journey together so that we can help Gaia and the masses ascend. If you're watching this video right now, it's because you were guided to do so. It's not a coincidence that you found this video because there's no such thing as coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. Everything. Everything. You did not find me on accident. You just didn't go scrolling through YouTube and go, oh, look, it's Gabby. No. You were guided. Chances are we're a part of the same soul group or soul cluster, and together we were meant to be a part of the same soul journey. We were, we were meant to travel this journey together. You finally found me. And you were guided because you've been feeling strange or you've been feeling out of sorts lately. You don't know what it is. You, you know that you're a person that is relatively healthy, but you feel like something is off, something is odd, something is wrong. So you found me because you needed this info that I'm about to talk about today. You needed this information about the energy shift to help you to trigger your awakening so that you can get activated. So what's happening with you is you're experiencing something called energy shift symptoms. Energy shift symptoms have actually changed over the last year for a lot of people. We are actually currently undergoing the beginning phase of a new energy wave. Think of this as the event, the event. Everybody's talking about this event that's going on. So everything is energy. So this event is energy. So what you're experiencing is this new energy wave that is coming through, this new phase, this new energy. You may have experienced energy shifts before, but this new energy wave is different. It's very different. It will be something that we have never felt before, or it will be felt more intense. The body has to adjust itself to be able to resonate with the frequency of the earth because the earth you know, she's ascending. So everything on earth ascends. So if she changes, we change. And the earth's energy has been shifting, changing. It's been increasing. Um, if it's been spiking, even the sound of the, the sound that the earth is making is louder. It's different. It's changing. The amplitude of the sound has changed. The notes are higher. So again, as she ascends, as she changes, as she shifts, Every being, every living thing on earth changes. Everything. And I'm talking trees, dirt, air, water, everything. Everything is going, is going to ascend. For those of you who have been on this awakening path for, you know, a long time now are experiencing new symptoms with, you know, with this energy, with this wave of energy. I'm experiencing these new symptoms. And honestly, I started to worry. I thought something was wrong with me because I just got used to the old <laughs> energy symptoms. The basic energy symptoms that I was experiencing was things like ringing in the ears, intense sweating, dizziness, forgetfulness, ascension flu, which are like flu symptoms, feeling depressed or lonely or just eh, blah, out of sorts, and waves of feeling like, you know, just like Stick to your stomach like a nauseous feeling. It actually seems that most people who begin the shift into higher frequency will experience these basic symptoms physically. A lot of people that are going through these ascension shifts, that's normally what they experience normally, basic normal shifts. So don't ignore these um, symptoms when you have them. You need to learn how to embrace them. So that's how I got used to these old um, ascension shift symptoms. I'm trying to say that without messing up. Try to say that really fast. Ascension shift symptoms. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister kind of. So I learned not to ignore them. I learned to not 
a, a complaint about them. I learned to embrace them. So that's, you know, I had just got used to them and now I got new ones. Go figure. I've actually heard from a lot of people lately, a lot of cosmic souls, that they've been feeling a bunch of these new similar symptoms, but they're more advanced feeling or they have been more intense. Meaning those that have already served their time or have been on this rise in this ascension for a very long time, experiencing the basic energy shift symptoms, people going through the shift never thought it would end. They were just like, like people like me, I was just like, oh my God, is this ever going to end? Oh, it's happening again. I'm going through this again. They never thought it would end. And now they're experiencing a whole new phase, a whole new energy phase of new symptoms. It's like, no, <laughs> maybe it's got to be a new phase. Maybe I'm going up a level. Maybe you're going up a level. Maybe we're all going up a level. Or maybe it's just being forced because like I just said, when the earth ascends, we ascend. And a lot of things have been happening with the earth lately. So maybe... For those of you that didn't get a chance to go through the basic steps, you know, to get you used to this advanced step, maybe you're just going to get pushed right into this advanced ascension shift. I don't know. But if you do, I recommend that you just chill out, don't panic, and just embrace them. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So some of these in, intense, advanced energy shift symptoms that I've been feeling or I've been witnessing are number one extreme lethargy like really tired like feeling like you're drugged i felt drugged i was watching t uh, t tv two days ago during the day it was about noonish and then suddenly out of the blue out of nowhere i was just sitting there and all of a sudden my eyes were just like real real heavy and i just couldn't keep them open i even took my eye and i was like whoa what's wrong with me i was like Am I okay? Like, what's going on here? And I just started to doze off. And I never nap. I don't nap during the day. Hardly, barely ever do I nap during the day. I was just so tired that I, I couldn't even talk. I could barely even mumble a sound. So I just laid there and I just took it easy. I, I was just doing some deep breathing and I was just laying there and I was just going into this sleep. And then it was like, um, the sleep was like um, lucid. I was like having these lucid dreams, but it was like, I wasn't sleeping, but I was awake, but I could see all these visions happening and all of these dreams taking place. It was just, it was the weirdest thing ever. I was just, whoa, I felt like I was, I was gone, you guys. I was tired. I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> um, here's another symptom. Number two, gut pain, having your stomach hurt really bad or, or you know, having trouble with your bowel movements. I know this is TMI, but you know, it's, it's what's going on, you guys, it's happening. So, you know, so like stomach problems. Number three, moodiness, having moments of like these bad mood swings when you are supposed to be like in a good, happy mood. And then suddenly like that, you're like, ah, you're just so mean and mad and grumpy. And it's just probably because you're really tired and you just want to sleep and your stomach hurts. <laughs> Number four, feeling famished, like you're starving, eating anything and everything that you could get your hands on. And you've been doing this for days. Well, at least I had a moment where I was eating everything in sight and I did it for days. And then there'll be days when you have no appetite at all. All you want to do is like drink water or maybe not even drink anything. But I had those moments where I was eating, eating, eating. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to get fat because it's all I'm doing is eating because I eat everything and anything. And then, thank God, I had the cleanse because then, then I had a couple days where I was like, nah, I don't want that. I'm not hungry. I just want to drink water and coffee. That's it. Number five, feeling like your energy levels are very low. Like you have no motivation to do anything but just lie around and do nothing at all. You have no desire to do anything. You may experience bouts of sleeplessness or sleeping all of the time. Um, not your average seven to eight hours of sleep. Sometimes three to four hours of sleep is just enough for you to get by 
for that week. And then suddenly next week you feel like you need like 12 hours of sleep just to recoup or, you know, regain some of that energy. Number six, sore throat and or dry mouth. I had a sore throat and I never get a sore throat. So I was like, oh man, I think I'm getting sick. But it went away. It only lasted for like, I think like two or three days. And I just drank some water with um, lime. I increased my vitamin C intake. I rested. Um, and I drank some green tea. And I, I, I felt better. Number seven, feeling itchy or breaking out in hives. I haven't broke out in hives. My daughter did. Um, my husband had these weird welts on his arm. Um, I was just itchy. Not because I had dry skin. I'm moisturized. Um, just like you're itchy and irritated. It's just, you know, it's this detox that's going on, you guys. So that's all that's happening. Uh, number eight, earaches. This one sucks because my ear hurt. It, it even hurts right now. I have a little tiny earache. Um, I've had a lot of pressure in my ears. Um, I've experienced ringing. I've always experienced ringing in the basic as ascension symptom that I normally get. I'll get these ringing tones that come and go in my ears but um actually the ringing that i've been getting as of lately and it started at the about the beginning of september the tone has changed it's not the same ringing noise that i always usually get the tone is is really different it used to be this really high pitch just like i know i sound horrible but it was really high pitch noise and then that noise usually would just fade away. And then you don't even realize your ear is not even ringing anymore. You're like, oh yeah, oh, oh, it's not ringing anymore. It went away. Now, you know, this new ear ringing tone that I have that's going on is, is, is very different. It's kind of like somebody is tuning a guitar or an instrument in my ear, in my head. You know, these, the, the pitches are longer, the sound is higher. Um, and it doesn't fade away like it used to. It would go up and down and then it would go kind of like to the middle and it would just be like this tone and be really long and lasting and then it would go up higher and be a little bit long lasting and then drop down really low and then it would switch over to the other ear immediately and it would do the same thing like something was like something was tuning me. That's what it that's what I felt like like I was being tuned. I've also felt um, my ears have been popping lately. I, I get a lot of popping in my left ear, but my right ear popped and I never really get that popping sensation in my right ear. I also get the feeling like there's liquid in my ear, but when I use a Q-tip and I try to see if there's anything draining, there's nothing draining. It, it's not wet or anything, but it feels wet, but it's not wet. And also if, like a little tickle, like a little itch, like something is in your ear. Like it kind of feels like something's crawling in your head, but there's nothing there. I hope there's nothing there. I had me worried. I thought like maybe a spider or something crawled into my ear when I was sleeping, but there's nothing there. Thank God. Number nine, intense migraine pain that moves like all over your head. Usually when you have a migraine, it's, it's normally like here. Okay. But yesterday... I had a migraine. It was so intense, you guys. I had it here, and then it was on the top of my head, and then it was like on this portion of my head, and then it hurt so bad that it sent a sharp pain down into my jaw, which probably could have been my ear causing that pain. I don't know, but it, it, the pain was so bad, you guys. It, it was just, it was horrible. Um, I've been experiencing neck pain. Through my journey and going through these energy shifts, I do get neck pain. I do. And, um, but yesterday the neck, it was, everything has just been so different and neck pain is never pleasurable. Okay. But yesterday it, it was painful. It really was. I gave myself a massage and I just took it easy. Uh, number 11, feeling like you are floaty or dazed or outside of your body. I, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. It's like, I'm here, but I'm also like, ooh, like a dreamy feeling, but it's, it's not a pleasant feeling because it's like you're off. Like I was standing and I felt like I could, my body could just fall over any second. 
So I had to sit down. I, I felt like I was very light. I didn't like the feeling. It was a very strange feeling. Um, not like a vertigo, but kind of like, I just don't know, like a, like a floaty, dazed feeling. Like I'm here, but I'm there. It was like I could see myself. In my third eye, I could see myself. I could, outside of my body, I was looking at the solid body and I was like, whoa, what's wrong with me? I don't feel well. Go sit down, Gabby. Go sit down before you fall down. So talking about these ascension symptoms, can you see how this ascension needs to evolve over what we know as linear time? We need to go through these shifts that we're experiencing in increments. Okay, we have to ex experience them little by little by little. When we agreed to this mission to come here to, to earth, okay, when we agreed to this mission, we knew that we wouldn't be able to handle these energetic shifts, not all at one time. We knew that it was going to be tough, but we also knew that our physical body would never be able to go through all of these symptoms all at one time. It would literally kill the physical body. It would be extremely excruciatingly painful to go through it all at one time. So we have to go through it in increments. If you're like me, you probably felt like you've died or you wanted to die many times going through this ascension shift. You know, it's just been, it's been very long and very painful and very tiresome. Tiresome. Is tiresome a word? It's just been long. That's all I gotta say. It's just been long. It seems like it's taking forever, like it's never going to end. But as we look back at our own progress, especially if you're a person at journals, if you look back at your progress, you can see just how far you've, you've come from when you started this journey to where you are today. And I've come a long way. I've come a long way physically, mentally, spiritually, um, even my attitude and the way I am with people, family, friends myself, everything, my attitude has changed, my character has changed, my ego has changed. I, I've, I didn't change. I've aligned myself. I'm aligned. Now that my basic energy symptoms have subsided, it's been about nine years that I've, I know it's a long time, right? Nine years. But I've gotten better over these years and I've learned how to embrace them. I'm not feeling the severity of these advanced symptoms symptoms, even though they were, they were pretty intense. Um, like many other people have been feeling these, even though I have been hit really hard and, you know, they creeped up on me and they scared me and they made me worry a little bit. I, I must've agreed to these adjustments. Um, and it's been a struggle for me. Embracing is definitely the key. And I chose to have nine years of this on and off um, of this adjustment versus some other people that get hit within a few months every single day. I rarely ever have headaches. Um, I, I, I really, I rarely ever have had headaches in my lifetime, but within the last few years, I get them almost every month for about two to two to four days. I will struggle with a headache every single month out of the year. Um, like I said, embracing these energy shifts is key. If you're tired, sleep. If you're hungry, eat. If you can't sleep, read or meditate. And I think that's why it's taking me nine years because for, um, for five of those years, I I did not embrace any of these symptoms. I fought every single symptom I had and I went to the doctors and I insisted something was wrong with me, even though they kept telling me nothing is wrong with me. They ran every single test that you could possibly run on a human and they're like, you are okay. Uh, they called me a hypochondriac because I'm always with something and they could never find something. So when I found my, or not when I found, I think when I opened up and listened to my divine spiritual team and spirit teachers came into my life, um, and they taught me 
and and gave me advice and I learned um, I realized you just have to embrace these these shifts and these changes as you evolve and for five years I did I was so combative that I didn't even listen you know to my higher self to myself I was more of a fight 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 instead of you know embracing the change and if you fight it it's these if you don't embrace these shifts as they come through they're gonna come through no matter what it's how you handle yourself that really makes the difference so if you have a migraine just rest if you're hungry eat if you're tired sleep you know um especially if you go to the doctors and they tell you there's nothing wrong with you just know that you're going through these energy shifts and you just got to get yourself through it breathe through them try meditating try try yoga um a lot of people think that yoga is so cliche and you, people think that you have to be like a vegan that that lives in california that's flexible to do yoga and that's not true at all it's really not true at all you don't have to do all those headstands and crazy yoga moves to do yoga um, the most important thing in yoga is focusing on your breathing and your breath will get you through anything 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 that is painful so if you're a soul that's experiencing migraines um, I know that they can be very debilitating and very painful and I suggest asking your divine spiritual team to help adjust the severity of these migraines as as they come um, because as you're getting these downloads from the universe as you are going through these shifts these cosmic um, energy shifts your I don't know how to say this your higher self doesn't know what pain you're feeling because they don't have a physical body your divine spiritual team doesn't know the pain that you're feeling because they don't have a physical they don't feel pain so they don't know unless you you tell them so when you're going through these um, energy shifts and if you can't handle something the severity of something as it comes let them know you know that it's a little too much for you and ask them if they can lessen the pain level so that you can at least function and you're still gonna feel pain but you're not gonna feel it as much most of the time there's a certain vitamin or mineral that your body is lacking that would help lessen the severity of the symptoms of the body pain or migraine that you're experiencing like magnesium if you have body aches and pain pains leg cramps and you can't sleep maybe your body's lacking magnesium and you need some magnesium in your body you can take the pill form or you can eat foods that have magnesium in them um, maybe your body's lacking vitamin C so it's good to go and purchase some organic vitamin C not the one that has the absorbic acid in it it has to be organic your body doesn't um, break down the synthetic vitamin C so read the ingredients before you buy them if you have questions about buying them uh, you can hit me up below and I can I can help you out with that um, maybe your body is dehydrated that's another reason that you're you may be experiencing these headaches or it could help lessen the severity of the headache drink more water I like to drink water with lime because it adds that like um, like that salt content that your body needs so lime or lemon but I prefer lime with water that helps and um, what else you can also give yourself a good uh, foot massage or a nice hand massage you know press on your pressure points and give your you know rub your neck and and rub your head give your body a, a nice little massage it's, it's self-love self-care that that'll help you or you can go and, and book a, a massage that's good too um, oils peppermint oil put a little bit of peppermint oil on your temples and on your forehead that that helps for migraine pain um, aromatherapy using lavender is very helpful when you have a migraine um, I just open my lavender oil and I just sit there for a couple minutes and I smell it and I just go like this and then you know I see where the pain level is and then I just smell it again and that seemed to help that's what I did yesterday I had 
such a bad migraine yesterday. It was so bad. I almost thought I had to go to the hospital. That's how bad it was. Um, I took some magnesium, drank the lemon or the lime and water. I rubbed my body and I sniffed the lavender <laughs> and put some peppermint oil on my face. And an hour later, I was golden. My headache was gone. In the past, I used to get really bad night sweats all the time and hot flashes all the time. Um, they're not men. They're not the ones that you get when you go through menopause. I'm not going through menopause. I don't know what age you you have to be to go through menopause. I don't know if there's a specific age or not, but I don't think I'm there yet. I hope I'm not there yet because I've watched my mother go through menopause and it doesn't seem pleasant. But uh, these um. Symptoms of these hot flashes and these night sweats are definitely not the the kind that you get when you're going through menopause because I'm not there yet. Um, many men also experience this symptom as you know they go through this phase. My husband is one of those men that experience this. He um, has a lot of sweating and um, heat flashes all the time. Not even just at night. He even during the day he's going through this and. Um, I, I went through this a lot in 2017, like my sheets and my bed were wet. That's how much I sweat and it, my clothes and I would have to change in the middle of the night. It was crazy. Now I get it every now and then. I don't get it as much as I used to, but I get it every now and then. Um, what it is, is my body was detoxing through this increased body temperature and sweating and I had to have the the temperature colder in my room to feel more comfortable so I can sleep now I actually I feel I feel good I feel cooler now and I rarely have one of those night sweats and and feeling like that so it, I must have detoxed out everything that I needed to detox out so what's happening you guys is the biggest shift ever that's ever been recorded by man <laughs> is happening on the earth right now i've had the extreme lethargy it, it comes and goes with these new energy waves these intense energy waves the lethargy has been intensified but it comes and goes um i get the feeling of having no energy and actually in july i went the whole entire month feeling like i had no motivation no passion to do anything i didn't want to do nothing at all i was literally a couch potato a bum didn't answer my phone i didn't go nowhere i didn't do anything i barely did my yoga i had no energy i didn't want to do anything all i wanted to do is rest and relax and I had a few up days and I would do things, but after I would do something, it took everything out of me and I was just back to being a couch potato. Now it's very noticeable when, you know, this energy shift passes or it breaks because all of a sudden you'll, you'll just know because you'll have all this energy, you'll have all these ideas to do the things that you like to do. It could be doing these videos or, you know, whatever your favorite hobby is, kayaking, walking, running, uh, crafting, reading without falling asleep. I don't know, whatever it is. I just know that when this energy cycle broke for me, I, I felt myself again. I got crafty. I got into mood to work out. Um, I wanted to start baking and cooking and, and doing all the things that I normally like to do because I have more energy to do those things that I like to do. And I'm glad that that energy wave finally passed for me. Hopefully I detoxed out whatever needed to be detoxed out of me because I don't want to go through that phase again. That phase sucked. Now the bowel explosions or, you know, the gut tummy issues, um, that is something that some people are experiencing and that started you know it usually starts with a severe uh stomach pain abdominal cramping and then um it moves you know to this big release <laughs> you know the big dun -dun bowel movement <laughs> and, and then you, you spend a lot of your time in the bathroom you know while this may be triggered by a certain food that you are eating um, it still is a release of stuck energy in you know in more ways than one as we shift our body cannot handle you know heavy foods that we may be intaking like fatty foods carbs lots of sugar junk food 
processed foods, you know, just things that are not good for our bodies. So, you know, just know that that is too a energy release. Toxins usually accumulate in the bowel walls and these aren't compatible with the new energies that are coming through. Anger, negative emotions are also stored in that area in your stomach. This is also tied to the solar plexus, which is down here, which is really being affected at this time. And it's one of the hardest chakras to unblock. So although you may chalk it up to something that you may have eaten, somewhere subconsciously, you were probably drawn to, you know, put that thing in your mouth for some reason, so that you could just move a lot of stuff out of your system. So it was done for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You live, you learn. I've also experienced the um, eating, the pigging out, the eating all kinds of food and then not eating all kinds of food. <laughs> I've been craving certain foods. Um, I had a, a, a moment where I was drawn towards grounding foods like beets and sweet potatoes, um, a lot of salad, uh, cucumbers, a lot of asparagus. Um, I've learned about how starches, you know, turn directly into sugar in the body, which causes weight gain, which I don't want. And, um, you know, I trust my body. I, I trust my body knows what it needs in order to move through this phase. So I listen, I've learned to listen to my body. I'm not perfect. I've had my moments of eating poorly. Um, I don't deny myself, you know, things that I enjoy eating. They're, like candy, ice cream, candy bars. You know, I don't normally eat a lot of sweet foods anyways, but there, I do get the moments when I crave them and I indulge in them every now and then, but it's not very often. If we really, really studied all of the, you know, vitamins that foods have in them that we're craving, we would realize why we get latched on or attached to a certain food or a certain item and then move and along and then, you know, want to crave another certain food item and we obsess about eating that food all the time for this period of time. It's because there's something in that food that you're eating that your body is asking for. So it's really important to break the programming about what diets are good for your body. You know, your body will tell you what it wants. You just have to learn to listen to your body. This includes craving junk food like sugars and, you know, whatever junk food you crave. There's a reason your body is craving it. So, you know, um, the next time you're craving something, look up what it is you're eating and try to figure out what it is your body um, is lacking so you can consume more of it in a, I don't want to say a positive, but a more healthier way. I've experienced how I actually feel worse on a strict diet. And I really do because, you know, I don't want to put myself on a strict diet because who wants to live on a strict diet and say that you can only eat this, but you can't have that. That sucks. So when you're moving through these energy shifts and you're having these symptoms, don't deny yourself. Allow yourself to have the things that it wants. I've noticed that if you just give your body what it is that it needs, the ascension symptoms can lessen over time. You still may experience some of them, but they could be much worse. Just because you're going through um, these energy shifts doesn't mean that you have to become this vegan and, and change everything that you eat because <laughs> you don't. You really don't. You know, if you crave a carrot, eat the carrot. If you crave the chocolate, eat the chocolate. Don't deny yourself. Just if you're going to eat junk food, do it in moderation. I do, I eat relatively healthy um, most of the time. And if I eat junk food, I, I eat it in moderation. I'm not big on eating, you know, fast food at all or processed foods. I'm not even a big meat eater. Um, I'm more of like a flexitarian. I mostly eat beans, um, fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, fruits, vegetables, nuts. That's about it. 
And every now and then I will have, you know, if I crave a steak, I'm going to eat a steak. If I want fish, I'm going to eat fish. If I crave chicken, I'm going to eat chicken. I don't deny myself. I just, you know, I, I, I take care of myself and I do it in moderation. As for my ears, um, the frequencies on earth are amping, are amping up. And if you, you check out the Schumann Resonance and you look it up daily like I do, you could actually see the spikes that are happening on the Schumann Resonance. Or they're really not spikes. They're actually notes. They're tones. Um, and you can see that the amplitude, the pitches are rising up. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, it rose to 100. And that, that's really high. That's a really high pitch. Um, so if Earth is experiencing higher tones, then obviously so are we because, you know, as the Earth changes and ascends and experiences all these um, things, these high-pitched tones and all these changes, we too, as beings living on her, will also experience these changes. So what does this mean for all of us? All people, everybody will have different symptoms. We're all not going to have the same symptoms. We may have similar symptoms, but we're not all going to have the same symptoms. You may or may not have these you know combinations of symptoms right now and if you do then know that others are going they're going to they're going through them too if you are not experiencing some of these symptoms right now um or of this caliber don't think that you're you're not on schedule or anything like that there is no schedule there is no timeline it depends on the person the pace and your journey um you may not experience anything. Maybe you won't experience anything until you're 80 years old. Who knows? Um, but you will. Just give it time. You will experience these symptoms. You will because the earth is changing. Therefore, you're going to experience it. Maybe you're not acknowledging it. Maybe you're you're maybe you are experiencing these symptoms. You're just not putting it together. And you were like me in the beginning and you're fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. And you think something is wrong with you medically when really nothing is wrong with you medically. You're just ascending. So there you go. It's very important to know that everything is happening just the way it should be. If you're not treating your body with respect and or listening to what it likes, free from judgment, then some of your symptoms might be a bit more extreme as it yells out to you to listen to it. So listen to your body. In the end, it's all about vibration, energy and vibration. We are now in the timeline where the waves of energy are so strong, stronger than we have ever, ever felt before. All of the symptoms that you have felt in the past have prepared you for this moment, for this time. We have literally done something that has never been done before in an ascension. As we move through physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental detox all at the same time, while we are still living in this body, our consciousness levels they're increasing and our DNA, it's, it's rearranging itself due to the cosmic energy waves that we're receiving. Um, when you look at what is happening and you see the crystal particles on your skin shimmering in the sunlight, and as you become aware that you are transforming into this, this light body, this beautiful crystalline light being, then you will finally realize that these energy shifts that are happening, these energy symptoms that you're experiencing seem to be well worth the discomfort. You are a divine being in the making of history. You are divine. So guys, I'm wrapping it up and I'm, I'm very curious um, if any of you guys out there are feeling any of these advanced, intense energy shift symptoms, if you are, please, please, please share your experience down below in the comment section. Um, I'd really love to read about what's going on with you. And um, I think others will find comfort that you come out and you share your story. I just want to say Many blessings to all of you souls that are watching my video. Lots and lots and lots and lots of love and light to you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah.
Bye.